Hello and welcome back to the channel. We are going to test the game ready driver with the studio driver. For this first test we're using TAA mode in DirectX 11. It's worth noting once again that I'm using an upscale of 150% in the OpenXR development tool. That's something I would never do usually in TAA mode but I thought why not tax the system to the limit. This is the beautiful Concorde by DC Designs and we're taking off at London Heathrow with my in-sim settings the same as my recent setup video which I'll link in the description below. So it's pretty much a dead heat here in DirectX 11 mode. I can't really tell the difference at all. <laughs> so let's now change things up and try DLSS set to quality using both drivers in DirectX 11. So here we are back on the ground again and as you can see things are looking very similar here and the reason why I wanted to do this test is simply I've had so many comments people emailing me and private messaging me saying Steve the studio driver is so much better well let's just see if that is really true now the only reason why you would use the studio driver is if say you're a content creator or you're using a lot of video editing software as well as games so really technically I should probably be using this driver anyway so I'll give it a go over the next couple of months and let you know how I get on because generally speaking I use the game ready driver so as you lift off again at Heathrow Airport the Concorde is absolutely epic I love this aircraft so much in fact I'll have a link in the description below where you can find it if you haven't already purchased it in fact doing this simple test has reminded me how awesome this bird really is and I'm going to fly it properly after this grueling test today let me know in the comments if you've noticed anything here but it looks very similar to me right let's go back now to London Heathrow once again by the way I'm using the same weather everything exactly the same as I possibly can and if you are wondering why the frames are so low well I'm actually upscaling the headset which in this case is the Reva G2 which is already 4k and recording in the most resource intensive place I can think of with very heavy cloud with very high settings so I'm really sort of stress testing my system at the same time it'll be interesting to do this with the uh, 4090 card which I will be having to test very soon but here god it's very very low indeed but I don't know folks what do you think maybe the game ready driver is edging it but I just think it's very similar I don't think there's much in it at all but please do let me know in the comments below so as we power out of Heathrow once again with the Delta Lady what a absolutely epic aircraft this is she sounds so good as well we will do one more test before I leave you alone and we put these comparisons to bed for the time being and that is DirectX 12 once again bit DLSS set to quality. One thing that did surprise me actually is the Reverb D2 in my view anyway seems to favour DLSS better than the Vari Aero. I think because the Aero is so sharp you notice that quality drop off a lot more. But anyway trying to lead down the runway the frames seem very similar to me and I think we can probably put it to rest now the debate over the studio driver versus the game ready driver. I think if I had to choose I would probably stick with the game ready driver since it may have those optimizations for Microsoft Flight Simulator and other sims as well but I'm not quite sure if those things make it into the studio driver if you know more about this do let me know in the comments below I think that will do for now thank you so much for all your support and if you haven't subscribed yet please feel free and I'll see you again very soon bye bye for now